Hey guys, Chris Kopp from C Cop Studios. Today I want to talk a little bit about a metronome technique that can help your, uh, improve your rhythm. So we're going to set the metronome pretty slow and use 16th notes. We really want to get this articulation right. The timing of it is the most important part. So set it as slow as you need to, to practice the exercise accurately. We're going to uh, push the um, accent around from the one to the E to the and to the uh. You'll see how that works here in just a second. We're gonna use a C minor arpeggio. If you don't know what a C minor arpeggio is, the one I'm gonna be using starts on the eighth fret and it's on the sixth string and it's uh, eighth fret sixth string, uh, 11th fret sixth string, 10th fret fifth string, eighth fret on the fourth string, 10th fret fourth string, eighth fret third string, eighth fret second string, 11th fret 2nd string and 8th fret 1st uh, string and those are C, E flat, G, B flat, C and does it again E flat, G, B flat, C so that's our arpeggio we're going to use that same uh, thing through this entire exercise so let's check it out so have the metronome set pretty slow 70 beats per minute that's what that sounds like we're gonna start out by accenting the downbeat. Every time the metronome clicks, we're gonna make an accent. Here we go. It's really, really accenting that downbeat and playing the other notes, but you really want to hear that downbeat, that accent. That's the most important part of this exercise. So the next thing we're going to do is accent the E. So the next note, so one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, we're going to accent the E. One E, 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 E. Again, really accenting those um, those accents, the E. So now we're going to accent the and, the next part of the 16th note, and this is that. So the last part of the 16th note is going to be the uh, so now we're going to accent the uh, the very last part of the 16th note figure. This is how that sounds like. So once you have all of these figures under your fingers, it's nice to practice them back to back without stopping in between. Uh, so you get a really good sense of where you're putting those accents, something like this. So going up and down with the same with on one, uh, up and down on the E, up and down and, up and down on up. So, and then practicing those just back and back and repeating patterns. So you really get a, a sense and get it in your ear, get that rhythmic feel, um, really internalize that rhythmic feel. All right, guys, that's it for today. A uh, short lesson on how to use accents with the metronome. Hopefully this helps, gives you a little something to practice and uh, help your rhythm out a little bit, something interesting to do. If you have a question, you can leave it below or send me a message. Comments are always welcome. A like and a subscribe are, of course, always appreciated. Happy practicing, and we'll see you guys next time.